This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Chem Power, and a better root planner. Yo, what's up? We are now at Soko K Kongsbergporten. This is a brand spanking new gas station from Soko K, right by the new highway. And this is quite uh, different than regular gas stations we have. Let me show you what I mean. So here we have fast chargers, you recognize this. This is a hypercharger from Alpertronic. And uh, by the way, the hyperchargers, they come in two versions, the thin one and the fat one. The thin ones, they have two, two slots. The fat one, they have four slots. And these ones can be configured for, well, it's actually 350 kilowatt. We have, uh, each power module is 75 kilowatt officially, but unofficially it's 87.5 kilowatt. And if I remember correctly, the Alpitronics, they are, I mean, the hyperchargers, they are 800 volt. They, wait, where are they? Uh, I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm here with the Etron GT. It is freaking awesome. I don't need to charge here. I have more than enough juice actually to go back to Oslo. But you see that, you know, we have a gas station at Sandvika that also, they replaced the, some of the fossil pumps with fast chargers. This one is different because Circle K, they designed this from ground up to be fast charger station. And this is, man, I love this. Look at this. We have fast charger under the roof. Also at night, there'll be lights here. We have uh, tissue, I guess. Nothing there. Okay, nothing to see. Tr trash bins. We have, uh, here we have uh, for, uh, empty uh, vessel fluid uh, containers also if you choose to charge here you can also vacuum your car two of them here hmm? what do you think huh you like that shit okay wait, wait, wait. i was about to you know i was looking for plastic gloves but i guess ev drivers don't need, they don't need plastic gloves do they <laughs> and yeah by the way chalmo let me check the chalmo plugs yeah it's only the 50 kilowatt chalmo plugs unfortunately uh, does it say anything? No, okay. Uh, I'm not sure if these... Are, okay, they, they, they're probably not operational yet. That's why they are uh, blue like that. And look here. Stuff to clean. We have stuff to clean the windscreen. This is, this is, you know, you know, at... Okay. I know that the guy, I know the, the boss at Ayon Tidal. I always go to Ayon Tidal. Ayon Tidal does not have roof over the chargers. It's actually raining right now. Ayonte Dal, I keep carrying the bucket from the gas pump over to the Ayonte chargers and then it stays there a couple of days and then next week I go there, the bucket is gone, it's back to the fossil pumps. But over here, they put the bucket there because, you know, think about this. These EVs, they're also cars. They also get bug splat on the windscreen. They might also need issues. These tissues, they, they might have garbage. Just like fossil cars. We've talked about that before. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. Okay, same good stuff over there. You see, now we have uh, a Volvo XT40 charging here. But let me see, let me check over here. This is the first time I'm here. I read about it. Uh, yeah, we have some uh, place for the kids to play here. Uh, this is a transformer. Yeah, I recognize this. It's a transformer for, for, I guess, for the station and for, the, for these chargers. Man, that butt is so sexy. The e-tron GT is just flexing right now. The, uh, 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 you like that shit? Mm, okay. But I think it's in here. Look at this. Daikin. Uh, what is this? Air conditioner unit? Tesla Bjorn is poking around here. What is this? Concrete? Huh. Okay, let me, let me poke around here. So, if this side is the charger, I mean, it's the, the transformer, then this side is probably the, the no, not the charger. It's the, oh, where? <laughs> yes, the batteries are he, in here. So we have a local batteries here. Unfortunately, I didn't contact uh, uh, Circle K beforehand because, you know, Circle K people, they know me, they watch my videos. But this video was not sponsored by Soko K. I came here on, on, on my road trip. It's probably, it's probably locked, right? Let me check. Yeah, it's locked. Of course, it's locked. 
but there is low this battery over there to store what well we have to check outside out upstairs because we have solar panel on the roof okay the gain might not be that big in norway but at least they have solar panels on the roof so um let me check uh, let me go check over on the other side there okay on this side we have fossil pumps the traditional fossil pumps okay that's kind of weird they don't have that foundation that uh, usually at gas stations you know they'd be a little thing yeah but okay over here and here we also have uh, washing uh, stuff but uh, i need to get up on the roof or somewhere um i'm not sure if i can see over there or not uh, but at, at least okay okay let's uh, let's go inside okay cool first i asked the staff here if i can film and she was like um i need to ask my boss i was like, okay and then i was filming and then on her own she went to check out m my car she was like that is a sexy car i said like, oh yeah <laughs> and now she said it's okay to film inside all right let's film inside so this is actually this circle k is norway's largest circle k just think, think about this it's the largest circle k st station in norway and you know me as a as a traveler as a as an ev driver oh okay white balance is a little bit off what i need is food toilet and maybe a place to chill so um lots of toilets over there food here hot food buns whatever and also well uh, regular stuff here but also a place to sit you see uh, you can choose whether you want to sit more chill here but this is this is pretty new we have 50 seats upstairs so it's the first time i check it out it's like going to mcdonald's right so you see we have some bar style seats here we have oh yeah <laughs> lots of seats here and also huh there is okay okay partly okay so they have yeah they have shuku and usb a i would like to see usb c though but at least they have usb a yeah that's good several of them hmm it's nice that they come here we also have oh <laughs> i'd like to go out there at the terrace but okay we have toilets also on the second floor let's see yeah we can barely see them here yeah ideally i need to go even higher up but you guys see them barely there solar panels on this side but also on the fossil pump side yeah so it's just i don't know maybe it's just proof of concept because i don't know how much these panels are making in norway electricity but they could reproduce this same model other places let's say further south in sweden or denmark so man this is the <laughs> this is the station of the future aha uh -huh. okay i went on a hill here you can see the solar panel there 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 yeah slightly higher than at the second floor there yeah so panels on both of huh and nothing on this side so all yeah all the battery stuff and the transport stuff is all on that side yeah what do you guys think huh the new type of gas station and it's only circle k you know i made a video last year or was it yeah i think it was last year circle k is leading the way it even rhymes since that time the other gas station brands they haven't really come up with anything similar and meanwhile Circle K pulls up this thing so awesome man so really I hope that this will be the new trend from now on that we try to adapt and make uh, I would say make the gas station more future proof yeah this is this is it this is the future really wait um maybe these two pumps would be uh, future hydrogen pumps no i'm just kidding they're actually you know what uh, when they designed this station they did not consider hydrogen at all as as far as i know there is no, there is no facility for for the compression storing and whatever of hydrogen uh seems like my guess i haven't talked to uh circle k about this but seems like <laughs> circle k 
might have ditched hydrogen altogether. I'm not gonna comment about it. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, pretty cool guys. So I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.